Example 5.19. Find the equation of Phillips whose eccentricity is equal to 1 by 2. So eccentricity means E, the small letter E is equal to 1 by 2. Okay. One of the four key that is called the focus is equal to 2 comma 3. Okay. So eccentricity is given. Next to focus is given. And the directory is x is equal to 7. That is called the x minus 7 is equal to 0. So one of the equation. So also find the length of major axis and the minor axis of the ellipse. That's all. So length of the major axis is 2a. That is the length of major axis. So first of all to find out the a value. Next minor axis. Minor means 2b. So next to find out the b value. So that is the answer. Okay. First of all the given information is. So first one. The given that the values is eccentricity. So this one the eccentricity e equal to 1 by 2 ok eccentricity is equal to 1 by 2 so and the focus so that the 4 key that is called the s so that is equal to 2 comma 3 and the directrice so this is directrice is x minus 7 that is equal to 0 ok that is the given information so first of all the directrice is a fixed line directrice is a fixed line so to, to draw the fixed line and then so for any point on the plane that is called the P any point on the plane that is called the P next if the focus is a fixed point that is called the S of 2 comma 3 this is called the X comma Y this is any point on the plane so next for this one is connecting next this is also connecting that is the conic section so this is directrice this one M okay that is the given information. So this one is a form of x minus 7 that is equal to 0. That is the directrice this one. This one is a focus. Eccentricity is greater than. That is called E is greater than 1. That is the eccentricity. Okay. So first of all the definition of by the definition of conic section. So by the definition of conic section. Conic section s p divided by p m is equal to e that is the definition of conic section so refer to the definition refer to the definition of ellipse okay s p by s p divided by p m is equal to u e so p m is cross multiplied for the right side that is called s p is equal to e into p m clear squaring on both sides that is called s p the whole square is equal to E the whole square next to P M the whole square okay S P S P means S is this one P is this one so S P means that the distance of 2 comma 3 to x comma 1 that is the distance of the two points next to E is equal to 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 the whole square next to P M the distance of point and the distance of straight line so the point and the straight line the distance between the formula so that is called ax plus by plus c whole divided by root of a square plus b square that is the distance between point and the straight line so now apply this steps the first of all sp s means s is a point p is a point so this one is a two point of the distance that is called root of into x2 minus x1 the whole square so first of all the given information that is this is the information so x2 minus x1 this one x1 y1 x2 y2 replace for this one so sb sb means x2 minus x1 x minus 2 the whole square x minus 2 the whole square plus into y next one minus 3 the whole square so the whole power 2 that is equal to next e is equal to 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 the whole square next pm p means one of the point okay p means point next m m is a straight line one point one straight line distance between the values is that is called the x minus 7 the whole divided by root of into 1 the whole square that is the formula so that is the formula the whole square okay so square root and then 2 should be cancelled the remaining answer is so which implies that x minus 2 the whole square next one plus next one y minus 3 y minus 3 the whole square so that is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 
x minus 7 the whole square denominator is given to 1 so square root of 1 is equal to 1 square root to 1 is equal to 1 only so this one a minus b a minus b this is also a minus b so first of all x square plus y square means 4 minus 4x the first one completed next to y square plus 9 minus 6y so that is equal to 1 by 4 into x minus 7 that is called the formula of this one is x square plus 49 minus 14x clear so this one is cross multiplication of that, that, that side so first of all x square first term next y square next 4x okay next to 4x next to minus 6y clear so this one 9 next one 4 plus 13 so this one 4 this one 9 13 so x square now y square next x term y term next constant so into the cross multiplication of 4 equal to x square plus 49 minus 14x clear okay next 4 is inside multiplication that is called so 4 x square plus 4 y square minus 16 x 6 4 so 24 so 24 y next one 12 remaining 1 4 6 so minus x square next one minus 49 plus 14x that is equal to 0 the first value is x square so this one 4x square this one minus x square that is equal to 3x square next one 4y square 4y square that is called the 4y square only 4y square next minus 16x this one 16x plus 14x so 16x minus 14x is equal to minus 2x okay next one minus 24y so this is 24y next one constant so constant means this one plus 62 minus 49 62 minus 49 so that is equal to 0 so x square term next y square term next x term next y term y term directly up next constant x square next constant okay so answer is 3 x square plus 4 y square minus 2x minus 24y plus so this one 62 minus 49 so 62 49 so 12 this one 3 5 1 that is called 13 so this is called 13 so that is equal to 0 okay so first of all formation of the ellipse equation and then follow the equation so first this is the conic equation so first to follow the ellipse equation so first arranging x square next to y square next to x term next to y term to convert the form of x square by a square plus y square b square is equal to 1 first the general form of the ellipse so this one we have to change that is called this one already 62 is come is convert to this one 52 52 okay first 3x square minus 2x the first term next one plus 4y square minus 24y plus 3 equal to 0 so x square x term y square y term okay the common value of these two terms is 3 so 3 into x square minus 2 by 3 into x clear up that is the common value x square x next to y square y the common value of it first of all we will do x square is number of the number common number that is called y square is the number of the number of the number of the number so x square is the number of the number y square is the number of the number is convert to the perfect square okay so the remaining values is y square that is called this one the y square minus 6 y plus 3 that is equal to 0 clear so next one 3 into 3 into so this term is to convert the perfect square that is called the, the coefficient of x terms the coefficient let us take the coefficient of x term 2 by 3 the whole divided by 2 that is called 2 to cancel is equal to 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 the whole square is equal to 1 by 9 so plus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 9 the replace the value of this 
this term only x square 2 by 3 into x plus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 9 first term is completed plus 4 into this is also the coefficient of y terms let us to consider the value 6 divided by 2 this one cancel to 3 so 3 the whole square is equal to so plus 9 minus 9 so y square minus 6 y plus 9 minus 9 plus 3 equal to 0 ok so first value 3 into this one is convert the form of this one fully a square 2ab plus b square so x minus 1 by 3 the whole square minus 1 by 9 the first term next one plus 4 into this one y minus 3 the whole square minus 9 plus 3 equal to 0 ok that is the, this one x square this one y square value next 3 is inside motivation 3 into x minus 1 by 3 the whole square next minus 3 divided by 9 ok inside multiplication of 3 next plus 4 is inside multiplication 4 into y minus 3 the whole square so this one 36 plus 3 is equal to 0 the first term is x square term second term is y square, y square terms so 3 into x minus 1 by 3 the whole square plus 4 into y minus 3 the whole square the remaining constant is going to right side so this is called this one minus plus 3 by 9 the first constant the second con constant plus 30 plus 33 minus 3 ok so this one going to 3 uh, so that is equal to 3 into x minus 1 by 3 the whole square plus 4 into y minus 4 into this one 3 the whole square that is equal to 3 the whole square that is equal to so 1 by 3 this one 1 by 3 plus 33 ok 1 by 3 33 this one cross multiplication is equal to 1 plus 99 divided by 3 equal to 100 divided by 3 that is the value so 3 into x minus 1 by 3 the whole square plus 4 into y minus 3 the whole square that is equal to so 100 divided by 3 the general form of the ellipse so therefore the general form of ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 the general form of the ellipse equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 ok so the equal to the, the the right term, right side, right side term should be 1 only. So, divided on both sides, 100 by 3. Divided on both sides, 100 by 3. So, 3 into x minus 1 by 3, the whole square, whole divided by 100 by 3. Plus, next one, 4 into y minus 3, the whole square, whole divided by 100 by 3. Equal to 100 by 3, the whole divided by 100 by 3. So this one fully cancels going to 1. Four, 3 is going to denominator. So reciprocal of this that term x minus 1 by 3 the whole square whole divided by 100 by 9. Okay. Next one plus y minus 3 the whole square divided by 100 by 12. That is equal to 1. That is a general form. X square. General form x square by a square y square by b square is equal to 1 the biggest number is 100 by 9 is the biggest number the lowest number is 100 by 12 is the lowest number so this is the general form of the ellipse so since the general form of ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 now a square is equal to so a square is equal to 100 by 9 next to b square is equal to 100 by 12 so to find out the value of major and minor axis so to find out the value of major and minor axis so therefore first to find out the major axis so therefore the length of length of major axis major axis is equal to 2a so that is equal to 2 into a is equal to 100 by 9 next a square is equal to now a is equal to this one root 100 divided by 2 divided by 3 ok 
next one the length of minor axis so the length of minor axis minor axis is equal to 2b now b is equal to so that is equal to 2 into root of 100 divided by 12 that is the major length of major axis length of minor axis so this one fully that is the smallest form just form of the general term just convert of the general term okay so clearly observe that term. so for each and every step should be carefully understand boys girls okay so very important sum next year for everything for this one is a directory sum so the name of this sum is a directory sum next year, this one is a convert to the form of a uh, so the root of the values so 2 times of into this one 100 100 root of 100 is equal to 10 divided by 3 is equal to 20 divided by 3 the length of major axis so this is also is that is equal to 2 times of into 10 divided by so this one 2 into root 3 2 2 cancel that is equal to 10 divided by root 3 ok so first example is given next one this one is a Focus, this one is a directory. Clearly understand this one, very important. So, SV by PM is equal to E, that is the general form of the, that is the definition of conic, that is equal to SV by PM is equal to E. SV that is equal to E into PM. Next, SV the whole square is equal to E square into PM the whole square. SV means a two point on the distance, okay, the general term. Root of x2 minus x1 the whole square, y2 minus y1 the whole square, that is equal to E, e is equal to 1 by 2. This is the format of Point and the strike line. One point to one strike line. Strike line. Look, number distance. Can you imagine? And the strike line. Here, this. And the point to substitute. Point to denominator. Like strike line. Our coefficient of x value y value square. Can you consider it? That is the formula of this one. Okay. This is our. If we are generally. What we are doing. A minus b the whole square. This a minus b whole square. This a minus b whole square. This one. Can we a minus b whole square consider? So next x square na x, y square na y in the place like x square x, y square y in the place na we convert. Can you next step? What we do? x க்கு முன்னாடி இருக்க நம்பரை இப்போ நம்ம பெர்ஃபெக்ட் ஸ்கொயர கன்வெர்ட் பண்றதுக்கு x க்கு முன்னாடி இருக்க நம்பரை x க்கு முன்னாடி இருக்க நம்பர் 2 ஆல டிவைட் பண்ணி அத ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணனும் ப்ளஸ்ல ஒரு டம் மைனஸ்ல ஒரு டம் கம்பல்சரி பண்ணனும் ப்ளஸ்ல ஒன்னு மைனஸ் ஒன்னு தட் இஸ் தி ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் x க்கு x க்கு முன்னாடி இருக்க நம்பரை 2/3 தட் இஸ் கோஎஃபிஷியன்ட் ஆஃப் x 2/3 இஸ் டிவைடட் பை 2 னா 2 2 கேன்சல் 1/3 1/3 ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணா 1/9 1/9 1/9 1/9 a b ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் நெக்ஸ்ட் a b ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் அப்ப இதல இருந்து ஜெனரல் ஃபார்ம் பண்ணு கண்டுபிடிக்கிறப்ப ஈக்குவல் டு கரெக்ட் வந்து கான்ஸ்டன்ட் கொண்டு போனா ஈக்குவல் டு நம்ம கான்ஸ்டன்ட் डेफिनेटா 1 ஆனனா என்ன கான்ஸ்டன்ட் இருக்கு அத டிவைட் பண்ணனும் எப்படி x ஸ்கொயர் முன்னாடி நம்பர் கூட அங்க 3 இருக்கு அத டிவைடல்ல கொண்டு வந்துரணும் ஓகேவா இப்போ a ஸ்கொயர் வேல்யூ என்ன b ஸ்கொயர் வேல்யூ என்ன a வேல்யூ b வேல்யூ தெரிஞ்சிருச்சுனா ஆன்சர் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் ஓகே சோ ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஸ்டெப்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் தென் கேர்ஃபுல்லி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆல் தி ஸ்டெ